Didn't get much sleep the last couple of nights. Well, obviously, uh, it's when you you get a result like that, then it's it's a sore one, you know, and you think nothing else of it. Uh, how you can try and make it better. So that's been. It was quite basic on Saturday, you know, we just didn't do our jobs and it was as simple as that and, you know, if you don't do the basics in football then you generally don't win games. Uh, overall I thought we were open play, especially first half was, was fine, we created a couple of near things uh, with a good opportunity for a set piece for sale, which would have made it 1-1 but their keepers made a good save, so all in all we know it needs to be better, you know, and we know that we, we didn't do our jobs and that come back to bite us. Lewis said the players were embarrassed with the result on Saturday. Have you seen that in training yesterday and today that they're angry about what happened? I, I wouldn't say I've seen an anger. I've seen the exact same commitment that what I've seen for day one. The boys are committed on the training ground and they're putting a shift in, you know, and they're trying to take on information that I'm, I'm trying to give them. And obviously I'm not going to give them too much information, you know, too quickly because obviously... Uh, they're working with a, a new manager who likes to work in a different way so it's important that uh, we're taking small steps if you like and making sure that we're keeping it as simple as possible for them the bottom line is we didn't do our jobs in terms of defending set plays each man's assigned a man and we made bad decisions And uh, so we'll, we'll be working a bit on the training ground and having better better lines you know, when we're defending uh, Set plays. You need to do that tomorrow, won't you? Because that set plays in particular, I've watched a lot of hearts this season, and they get a lot of success for that for corners, for long throw ins. The ball's going to be in the box quite a fair bit tomorrow. It will, but they've also got a lot of good players, you know, and uh, I think hearts have a real identity of how they play. I think the, their image as a team represents their manager. You know, they've got that steely grit, determination. Uh, and they're streetwise, but they also have, if you look at the spine of the team, they're very strong. You know, we, with McLean and, and Naismith's guy all went to drop in and went to get up top. We get pace in the wider areas, you know, and full backs you like to bomb on, uh, and real aggression at the back. So we know we've got a lot of work cut out, you know, but, you know, they, as I say about streetwise, they know when to break a game up. If a team's counting, they, they'll put you in your backside and they'll make sure they get fouls. They surround the referee, you know, make sure, you know, and that's, you know, part of the game, you know, and, and it's something that we need to be better at. Is that what you try to instill in your squad, Some, something like that? Well, uh, you, you're going to put your own stamp on it, mm -hmm. you know, but for me, I want to play, you know, a high-pressing game, I want to get in people's faces and, and don't let them enjoy the game, but... That's not going to happen in the space of three days. You know we're going to have to. You know right now I'm still analysing the, the playing squad that we've got, and you know you think you know players and from watching games from outside, but it's not until you work with people and you see them in pressurised situations and you see how they react to that, uh, how they react to adversity and, and how they are when they're confident. You know so that takes that takes a number of weeks. You know to to make sure that you're you're working that out. There's been a lot of doom and gloom about Dens Park this yep. season. Big black clouds hanging over it. Lost Neil, you're in, lost first game. But a win tomorrow night, Jim, you could potentially jump three spots on the table. Yeah, is, exactly. that, is that what you dangle in front of the players and say, look, okay, of forget course. that, it's gone. It's yeah, of game. course it is. You know, it's about, we've got an opportunity to move off the bottom of the league. You know, so that, that's the sole aim, you know. Keep it as simple as that, you know, as an opportunity to pick up the points. You know, we're at home, we're in front of our fans, go and give them something to get off their seats about and shout about, you know, and it, it's about show that commitment for each other, you know, but be equally aware of heart strengths, you know, listen to what, what's been said and and uh, obviously what they've been shown in terms of hearts, uh, preparation and with the work that they do, you know, but that's, that's how you've got a chance of winning games, but... We need to make sure that we we defend well. You know, we know we're going to put on, be put under pressure, balls into the box. Uh, and as I say, they've got full backs who like like to hit bylines and get crosses in. So it's up to us to, to put on a performance. Sometimes when managers come in, it's because they're 
squad isn't good enough, that's why the team's not performing well. But there's also been a sense around here, certainly from and me watching, you obviously mentioned you've seen them from outside a couple of times as well. It, there's enough good players here at Dundee that, that means they shouldn't really be where they are in the bottom of the league. I mean, do you feel that you've got the, the building blocks here to, to make a difference when you can affect that? Well, I'll soon find that out over the next two months. You know, when you're, 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 I'll have learned different than there is to know about the players. As I say, it's when results are happening, adversity on the training ground, what you're seeing. You know, but I firmly believe there's a good group of players here, a core group of players. You know, but it's about more than ability. It's about being organised, it's about being structured and making sure you do those jobs that you're assigned to do. Um, obviously the, the tricky question that will hang around until it's resolved either way is, is what you would like to have happen with your number two. Obviously you've said consistently you'd like Billy to come in. Is that still something that, that can happen and, and should it happen sooner rather than later? Well, whether it happens or not, I don't know. I can't give you an answer on that. There's not been a decision taken on it. Uh, I've said all I've had to say on it. Would I want Billy Dodge working beside me? Absolutely. Why? Because he's the best man for the job. We work well together. We've got a, a four-year history of success at Queen of the South and then three years at Ross County. But I'm also aware, you know, that it's it's a tricky subject. Uh, but like everything, there's two sides to the story. What's causing you most concern at the moment through your analysis of uh, the last few days? Is it not scoring goals or is it... Winning goals from set pieces? Yeah, I think you could say a wee bit of both. I wouldn't say there was brilliant goal scoring opportunities on Saturday. You know, so we can't be too critical of. We get into. I thought our final ball let us down a wee bit on Saturday when we get into good areas. That final pass they put us through for a goal score, goal scoring opportunity. Uh, and quite clearly, what we've worked on the last couple of days is obviously we need to be better. You know, that picking up your man, don't drop your runner. You know, and that's what happened four times. Is it fortunate for Dundee that there are four teams all in the same type of form at the bottom of the league? Just a few well, I think uh, the four managers would be coming in and looking at the other results right away to see what happened because obviously it's not went well for them. You know, and right now it, that's exactly what it is. It's a mini league, you know, at the moment. And until you put a run of results together, that's what you're in. You know, so I think it's important that every one of the players have been fully made aware that we're in a battle here to get ourselves off the bottom of the league, you know, and, and it's fine and well, and I take Chris's point about, you know, people saying that this team has a lot of talent, well, we're bottom of the league, and we deserve to be bottom of the league, because the results haven't been good enough, so, as I say, talent alone's not enough. Have you talked about being maybe more streetwise compared to Harps, is that something that can change quickly, obviously maybe needs to with it? set pieces but is it a general thing that can change quickly you can still own the team well whether it changes quickly enough is whether the players take it on board and, and then if, you know if they don't then you know that obviously that's going to be a problem for you but you know I would like to think that the information that we're giving the players you know they're not going to hunt the park thinking right I don't know what's going to happen here so you know they've, they've had key information to try and help them you know, and then obviously when we're in possession of the ball, go and play, go and show you, show what you're good at. You know, they've got the licence to go and do that. You know, and it's just it's about taking responsibility. Tomorrow night's just one game, Jim. Obviously, but how big a boost, how big a lift would a, a good result give everybody? Oh, it'd be fabulous. You know, for a start, we'll be we win tomorrow. We're off the bottom of the league, and and that's the key goal. And there's nothing better than than being able to do that. And Obviously, our second game that would be that would be magic. And the supporters, how is it, how important is it that they get together, get behind the guys? Supporters at any club are huge, and they come out in the numbers here, you know. And it's so important that, that that we give them something to get excited about equally. You know, it's a two-way street with supporters. They need, you know, I'm a, I'll ask for a bit of patience, but I need obviously know that my team needs to give them something, you know, to get excited about it as well. So that's a responsibility that falls in me and the players, you know, to, to make sure that they're they're getting fully behind us and getting as vocal as we possibly can. I've played here when it when the Dundee crowd's bouncing and it's intimidating, you know, and that's exactly what we want to have. And how's the team news shaping up? Yeah, we're we're status quo is the same. Uh, the injuries are still the same as well, so uh, there's no change.